We mentioned coronal holes in a previous episode. To begin learning about coronal holes, let's build on what we've learned. We have seen the sunspots, dark umbras surrounded by penumbras, with magnetic fields connecting the spots right through the centers. The arches carry plasma and charged particles, and therefore logically connect at oppositely magnetized sunspots, a positive and a negative. These magnetic arches, despite how high into the corona they can extend, are some of the lowest magnetic fields above the photosphere of the sun. The connection arches between sunspot umbras are known as umbral fields, while larger arching fields extend across a very large area of the sun, and these are called coronal fields in blue. Just like the umbral fields, these can push and maintain charged particles. Where there are no fields arching over the surface, we find the coronal holes. These are areas where the forces controlling the charged particles extend out into space rather than arch back down to the sun. This allows the solar wind to push out much more quickly. The solar wind streams from coronal holes can be twice as fast as normal solar wind or more, as fast as many large CMEs. Coming out of the centers of coronal holes are alphan waves, which NASA believes transfers extra energy to the Earth compared to the surrounding areas. Using NOAA's endless spirals, we see solar wind speed on the left and density on the right. There are no CMEs to be seen, but yet some streams are much faster than others. Those are the coronal hole streams, and if you look to the right, there are denser lines ahead of those faster streams. The faster coronal hole stream catches up to slower solar wind out ahead of it and bunches up the particles just like snow bunched up on a shovel. Coronal hole streams are distinct on the ACE solar wind charts. We have a density rise, here going from the low to mid single digits in proton density per cubic centimeter, up to spikes nearing 20 protons or more. This is the dense bunching ahead of the faster stream where it meets the slower particles. Now after that wave passes, the faster particle stream comes and the speed rises quickly. You can verify this by noting the higher temperature of the plasma particles emitted by coronal hole streams. The density waves and speedy stream behind them make geomagnetic storms just like CMEs do. Space weather. It's the same basic idea of intensified solar wind. Corona holes are just that, areas of low density in the corona, the solar atmosphere, but not the sun itself. Corona holes come in all shapes and sizes. Some look downright ridiculous, like the famous Big Bird or Chicken Man coronal hole. The scientists discover the intricate connections between space weather and the Earth system. Corona holes will play a vital role in the process.